Hello everyone, let's get started. Take two. In today's video I will quickly show how you can use the Google Sheets API. It took me about three attempts to get it working. So here we have Google Sheets. I will enter something and then here you see it's saved. So that's basically how it is and we want to change it. Then um, you find all those links I will be showing now in the description of the video. So the first most important thing is the Google Sheets API. Here you have a button learn more. That brings you basically to this. Here you learn that the spreadsheet ID is basically what comes in the URL after the D, basically this part here. Um, and at the bottom it will tell you to get started as Workday's developer. When you click there it tells you you need to create the project and enable the API and already the problems start. Okay, because when you click there you, you get here to create the project and to enable the API. Both these links, Google Cloud Console, basically um, <clears throat> bring you roughly here. Here you can on top create the new project. I have created mine already. Update Sheets, I have called it. You go through the Let's do it. Let's do a sample project so that you can see. Sample sheets project. Um, no organization. And that's basically it. So we would have a new project here now, sample sheets. Pretty simple, but we are now working with this update sheet, the one I have prepared already. So the first problem was, I, it tells you enable APIs and then it lists some APIs, but there is no Google Sheets API here. So where is the Google Sheet? Well, actually now it is because I enabled it. But if it isn't, you find it under library. You enter Sheets, you click it. And if it's not enabled, there is an enable button, enable it, and, and that's it, okay? Um, then you need to create credentials. And the credentials you want to create, create are this O authentication 2.0 client IDs. So create credentials, O, then you select the application, in my case it's a desktop application, sample, application, create. That will give you a client ID and a client secret, which you can download here as JSON. You should do that, okay? That's basically it for it to work. But now, how do you go about? So there is one page, Google Sheets for developers. I tried here, creating, reading, right, didn't help. Then I went to Python because I'm doing it in Python. <coughs> and there's actually quite a nice <coughs> sample code which works. However, they expect the credentials in a file called credentials JSON. So basically you rename that downloaded file from the credentials page here, the file you downloaded, to credentials JSON. And then you basically can run that application. Um, I have changed it a little bit. Um, and I want to now basically show the problems I had. So basically you enter the sheet ID on top, the sample range I deleted, that part of the code you don't need to change. And then here we have the reading part where you need to provide this 
this uh, sheet ID and then the range. We want to read, let's say we have, I think, columns one, two, three. So we could read columns one, two, three. That will display in the read results. And in the, in the second row, we will write some values, hello world, value in the second column, three, four and fifth column. And we will write that from A2 to F2, okay? And now we run the code, zack. We need to authenticate that update cheats or authentication thingy stuff. And we then select here yes and continue and this will create a token on your machine. It's called token.json. If you did use the example from here, in that token there is defined that you can only read. So as soon as I tried to, to update values it would give me some unauthorized, I don't know, access errors or whatever. And it, and it took me a while to figure out I needed to delete that token.json, run the code again and now it uses the, diff, the, the new scope which is this one and not the read only from the, from the, from the example. And to actually see which levels are possible, I will provide that page here. So that was the first scope read only. But as I need to write, I need the second one. And if the token.json has been created with this scope already, remember to delete the token if you, if you increase the access level. Then you will basically need to go through this uh, authorization again. But anyway, I run the program and as you can see the values are here and it's freaking fast. So we delete those values and I make that window a little bit smaller. I run the application again, zack, and already there. Freaking cool, isn't it? Enjoy! And one thing. Don't believe those idiots who tell you on, on any of those sites trying to support in that matter that you need to enable the Google Drive API. If you just want to write, read and write sheets, you don't need the Google Drive. The Google Drive would give your code basically access to all files on Google Drive and that's maybe not what you want. Happy coding!